fly down to Italy for a weekend. I can't. I haven't got any goggles. Oh, my word, Jerry, you have to go. She's counting on us. You see, she's going to have a young friend visit her. And I suspect there's something in the air. You know Madge and her matchmaking proclivities. Whoa. Is she expecting me for a weekend or a wedding? Well, can't tell. You know how wives are. No, I don't. How are they? Horace. How do you do? Madge. Darling. My, 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 your passion frightens me. <laughs> I dropped up from the room below where I've been trying to get some sleep. I didn't realize I was disturbing you. You see, every once in a while, I, I suddenly find myself dancing. Peekaboo. Stop this cab at once. In dealing with a girl or horse, one just lets nature take its course. Let the rain pitter patter, but it really doesn't matter if the skies are gray. Long as I can be with you, it's a lovely day. Mr. Hardwick stopping at this hotel. Why, yes, Mr. Trevor. Mr. Hardwick has room 404, just above you. Now tell me, did my husband look you up? Yes. Well, how did he impress you? Oh, I think he's very fascinating. Fascinating? You know, every once in a while, the effect Horace has on people surprises me. He chased me in the park. Really? I didn't know Horace was capable of that much activity. What's the matter? I'm afraid I'm going to have a headache. Oh, don't go. This is a meeting I've been planning a long time. Good evening. It's nice to see you again, Miss Tremont. You robbed me of the pleasure of introducing you two. You've already met. Heaven. I'm in heaven. And my heart beats so that I seem to find the happiness I see when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. I just got an invitation through the mail. Your presence requested this evening is formal. Top hat, white tie, and tail. 